so nocturnal acid breakthrough alludes to the fact that many people with gastroesophageal reflux or gerd as we call it are well controlled during the day with whatever acidity medicines they are taking like ppis or h2 blockers but in the night this ph tends to drop and it becomes more acidic and they get reflux of acid into the esophagus this concept is called as nocturnal acid breakthrough and it's an important cause of symptoms in patients who are otherwise reasonably well controlled with acidity medicines So patients are generally very uncomfortable with this because they wake up in the middle of the night with retrosternal burning, liquid in the mouth, water brash, as we call it, volume reflux. And our main concern, particularly in elderly people, is they tend to aspirate the acid into the lungs to call what is called Mendelssohn syndrome or acid aspiration. A lot of patients with NAB can actually present with dry cough, laryngitis. upper respiratory tract symptoms they often keep going to their family physicians taking cough syrups neglecting the fact that the root cause of the is nocturnal acid breakthrough because of acid so with the current medication that we have earlier it was h2 blockers like ranitidine famotidine and now we have a number of proton pump inhibitors like pantoprazole uh, remiprazole esomeprazole the main problem with them is one is the dose in relation to meal because they are only abs- they are present as pro drugs and they'll be absorbed only when taken before meals and the second is they don't control the nocturnal acid breakthrough well very often we have to put these patients on double dose ppi for example 40 mg of pantoprazole in the morning and evening before breakfast and before dinner in order to control this nocturnal acid breakthrough So we often get the obese, the elderly people who are much, and people with large hiatus hernias. When we allude to the fact that people have hiatus hernias, the G junction, the stomach is often in the chest, with what is called a sliding hiatus hernia. And these patients are particularly prone to getting nocturnal acid breakthrough. And generally, therapeutic control of them with proton pump inhibitors is not very good. So the two big advantages are. no dose adjustment to meals i think many times we find improper or inadequate response of ppis in gerd to me h2 blockers are not in the same league because they have what is called tachyphylaxis as you keep taking h2 blockers the effect of the h2 blocker decreases ppis on the other hand must be taken at least half an hour before meals because they are in pro drug and they will be converted to the active form only in a empty stomach so that is the main many of our patients take it with meals after meals don't take it properly and that's one of the problems of ppi the second concern with ppi is drug interaction with clopidogrel and the third is long term use of ppi i'm talking several years there may be some effects on the kidney the lung anemias electrolyte imbalance and rarely even hip fractures in elderly people though the the evidence is quite sparse on that pcabs which are the newer the new kid on the block if you like gives you very reliable ph control that basically converts your acid ph in the stomach to alkaline ph it is not related to meals we don't have yet any long term side effects of pcabs with relation to kidney cardiac arrhythmias anemia or any of the other things that i just mentioned it is licensed currently for grd and for treatment of h pylori gastritis but more importantly for nocturnal acid breakthrough pcabs have a specific role as compared to ppis in that they control the nocturnal acid breakthrough much better than a ppi So definitely, it's a drug of choice now in GERD and NAB. There is no two things about it. I think not only it is a it is as effective as the PPIs. It has no relation to meals. It has no side effect uh, drug interactions with clopidogrel, and it can, it's extremely efficacious in both NAB and GERD. There have been long term. It's one of the few uh, molecules that are licensed in the US before they came to India. It's been available in Japan for a very long time. It is FDA approved for H. pylori gastritis, NAB, and GERD, 
and now in in india so there is no question in my mind it's the first line of treatment for any patient of gerd or nocturnal acid breakthrough